All right, so in a previous video, I talked about build primer and I mentioned uh, the powder content. This is what I'm talking about uh, as you sand it and this is what makes it uh, nice to sand versus the epoxy. So we're continuing to work our way around blocking this Camaro uh, among many other projects going on at the same time. So uh, the astute viewer will have noticed that uh, we're outside uh, while we've been uh, blocking this car. Now this isn't because, uh, oh, oh, by the way, I guess, uh, if you don't know what astute means, uh, in this case, it means we've been outside. It, it, it's complicated. So at any rate, um, it's not that I don't have a place to put this car inside, but uh, blocking this build prime uh, makes a hell of a mess out of your shop. So if you can do it outside, you're far better off to. Uh, so the mix ratio on, the, on this build prime is four parts paint or primer to one part catalyst. Some of them go up to six parts paint or primer to one part catalyst and epoxy is two parts to one. So uh, the epoxy by its nature is a lot harder and it's not meant to be to serve as any kind of a build uh, build up of material. So the reason I go with thin coats on the build prime is it's the same reason you don't want your putty real thick. So I do more than one application of it. Uh, and again, uh, please bear in mind these videos are for my buddy so that he can get more out of his car. And he seems to be convinced somebody else might watch this. And if you do, fine, but bear in mind, I don't care what your opinion is. So uh, I'm gonna show you why we've been outside here. Uh, and this is just uh, from Bach and part of this quarter and part of the door. So if you could uh, magnify what you're gonna see here, we'll see how it goes. Uh, to the whole car, I think you'll get the idea. times that much screwing up your shop and everything else. That's the reason for outdoors.